Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic Economic Data, or the sorry, Roadmap for Thursday, the, night, the 20th of December and Friday, the 21st of December, 2018. As usual, we don't typically do a market preview just for Fridays, as most of the week has played out. So we will just kind of go through everything that's left this week, and we're going to be heading into the Christmas holiday. Which means that on Thursday, probably, although I do think we could get some action early, uh, more than likely people are out by late Thursday and heading on the road. Friday, which is triple expiration, is usually a bust, but obviously there's movement in the market right now that uh, could put that at risk. The weekend would be the weekend where we have the least options protection on the market for the, for a while because it's triple expiration as the market falls apart. Though that usually happens uh, earlier in the year, it does leave us open for a potential problem next week. And of course, Monday's a half day for Christmas Eve, and we're closed on Tuesday. So <laughs> there's there's the possibility here, if things really fall apart Thursday and Friday, that we're in for a mess over Christmas. We'll see what happens. Um, here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market and futures form. New closing lows for the year. Let's go through all the major daily charts. Then we'll look at the intraday action, see what we did on the Fed, and then we'll talk about the data that's left for the week. Uh, so crude oil closed down 77 cents to 47.40, continues to fall, getting near a 13 secret buy signal though on the crude oil number. Gold down 7.90, S&P cash loses 39 dollars and 20 cents, new closing low for the year again. We're definitely in red territory for the year at this point in time, down uh, over 100 points on the S&P for 2018. Nasdaq 100 now, flirting with uh, basically the first time. Uh, since back in uh, April and then February before it, that were actually red for the year. If you look where we closed out in January or December last year, uh, we just closed below that number right today. Down 148 .55 on the session. Socks down 49.22. This looks bad. This is a low range base. You cracked that 1120 area. You're in trouble there. Biotechs, we pointed out, were already looking bad yesterday and continued lower. Down 62.22. The Russell 2000 down 27.94. This is just completely ugly. The VIX closes the session at 25.58. The Trin closes the session at 1.19. That's the 10 day moving average, also, right now. Uh, let's see. Some of the bigger numbers are about to drop off the moving average. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. So tomorrow, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, maybe we just lost. I think we just lost that 3.0 number. That's why we dropped, yeah, as much as we did here on the moving average, which is interesting. Uh, Nasdaq volume 2.9 billion, heaviest in a while, over a month. So it's a, that's a note, right? Every time we go down, it's big volume, but this was the biggest volume on the move down. And remember, the markets were up early, and they legitimately sold off after the Fed today. This was not just a gap down type of thing. Uh, advanced decline ratio wasn't as bad as we've seen, but it was still negative 14, 16. On the New York negative 13.31, Google loses seven dollars and ninety-five cents. That's an inverted cup and handle on Google. Apple down 5.18. Nothing pretty there. Netflix down 4.17. Amazon loses 56.40. Yeah, that's an ugly chart. But Amazon's still green for the year though. Tesla down four dollars and six cents. This is actually hanging near the highs. Also green for the year on Tesla. Facebook down 1042. That is not green for the year. Let's look back. Netflix up for the year. Apple now down for the year. And Google now uh, just about break even for the year. Goldman Sachs nowhere near up for the year. Down another 225. This thing's been on a slide for a while and never had any up movement during the year. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, gains a buck 58. The Dow down 350 points or so. And it is what it is. Uh, in terms of the intraday action, here's the five-minute charts. So you can see we had a, a slight uh, uh, gap and then uh, headed higher, drifted higher, spiked up for a second on the Fed announcement, then spiked down harder, tried to stabilize, and then once they started the Fed conference and got all the comments out of the way, sold off a bit and then flattened out for the last hour. NASDAQ side, not much different. In terms of economic data coming out for the rest of the week, on Thursday we have... Philly Fed an hour before the bell with the initial and continuing jobless claims numbers. We've got the CB leading index 30 minutes in, Natty Gas an hour in. On Friday, we've got durable goods, final GDP uh, an hour before the bell, and 30 minutes in, we've got core PC price index, personal income and spending, and revised University of Michigan sentiment. Remember, next week's a short week all the way around. So we'll talk about that in the market preview for the weekend, which will be the last 
or we'll have no more until the following week just because it's really a three-day week next week and everybody's gone it's going to be totally dead volume uh, take a quick look here's NASDAQ volume number on the daily chart and if you slide it back and take a look at December of last year you can see right before 2018 starts five days where we weren't even at anywhere from 1.2 to 1.6 billion shares versus the normal numbers that's what it looks like usually the last week of the year so we're not going to see any volume it's basically a week off charts as usual brought to you by eSignal if you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading week and a great Christmas.